I mean, there is nothing, nothing on this planet that I've done in a business context that gave me more of a thrill than trying a murder case. Why? There's a beginning, there's a middle, and there is a, oh, there's an end. You know, so the beauty of trying a murder case was you got ramped up for something that was truly important. You got your team together. Everybody was behind one mission. There was a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it was great because whether the jury voted guilty or not guilty, they always voted guilty. <laughs> I'm happy to say. But whether they voted guilty or not guilty, there was an end. And I go from that to a law firm now into a wonderful job that I've had for almost nearly 10 years. And the one thing that I can tell you as the executive director of the NFL Players Association, there really is no beginning, <laughs> there really is no middle, and it looks like there's never going to be an end. Um, I've had this job for nine wonderful years. But the difference between this job and the job of trying murder cases is I realized, it took me about seven years to realize it, so um, I'm, I'm slightly ahead of my class, not. But I learned that there is no end. There is no middle, there is no beginning. And in a certain way, this job, the job that I have, um, and I would like to share with you a little bit, is learning how to lead from the epicenter. And if you think about an epicenter, the first thing that pops into our head is the epicenter is always that thing in the middle of what? An earthquake, some seismic event, some trauma, some drama. But what happens after that epicenter? You have concentric circles that move where? Out, right? And so leading from the epicenter, as opposed to trying a case with a beginning, a, mid, a middle, and an end, leading from the epicenter means that there are simply concentric circles that literally move outward into infinity. And it took a little bit of time for me to understand that instead of looking at my job based on what you and I talked about earlier, a job description, there is a big difference between my job description and what I do every day. What I do every day, lead from the epicenter. And so for the next few minutes before we head into uh, questions, I wanna talk about a little bit about leading from the epicenter and what it means for me and what I think it means for any person who finds himself in a leadership position in today's business climate. The fact is, if you think about those epicenters, those, those circles, those concentric circles that flow out of that event, two things about those circles. One, they go on forever, but the one thing about the circle is what? There's no beginning, <laughs> there's no middle, <laughs> and there is no end. And so our job now, especially today, and I think that is somewhat unique in where we find ourselves both socially and politically, there are things in which our business, we have to deal with every day, you have to deal with every day, that doesn't necessarily fit your job description. I mean, think about it. For us, for our union, you could say, well, this guy's job is to simply manage the pensions, take care of the health care, make sure that the workplace is safe, and make sure that there's a good transition period for football players after football. I mean, that's a great job description. That job description does not include bounty. That job description does not include deflate gate. Didn't even think about concussions the way we think about concussions 10 years ago. Transition, healthcare, mental health, drug cases, drug abuse, mental health, all of those things are things now that I find myself doing every day that might not necessarily match my job description. But I will tell you, they are part of those concentric circles. So the quicker that I was able to embrace those things as being absolutely ingrained in what my job is, was really the first day that I understood what it meant to lead from the epicenter. And today in business, I see exactly the same thing. The good old days, you measured your business by the traditional measurements we, we may have learned in business school or the traditional measurements uh, we learned in law school. What's your P&L? What does Moody's say about us? What does Fitch say about us? What's our share price? Does it go up? Does it go down? T 
Today, just in the last few weeks, what have we seen? We saw Amazon do something with respect to minimum wage. Why? In response to pressure about social inequality, minimum wage, um, and working conditions. You saw Starbucks shut down all of their stores for a day for, for training on racial sensitivity in, in the marketplace. Facebook, great company, finds themselves hauled up on Capitol Hill, forced to engage in really interesting conversations about what? Privacy. All of those things are those concentric circles that move out and now become the everyday thing that CEOs, C-level executives have to deal with on a daily basis. But here's the good news. That's where we wanna be. I honestly believe that's where we wanna be. Why? Because either we have to make a decision that our job and the people who work with us and the people who work to try to accomplish our mission we are all going to either be one team and have ourselves focused on all the things that matter, or we are going to be separately siloed, focused on all the things that matter to individual people. And I know one thing. I know that that's not a team. That's not a team. So for us, there used to be a day where the National Football League was purely graded and ranked on what are our ratings like, how many fans attend, Am I happy now that our job is focused on things about the health, safety, well-being of our employees that you call NFL players? Yes. Um, am I happy that we have created groups within our office to make sure that players transition out of football and live the balance of their lives um, as healthy, productive members of society? Yes. Does that have anything to do with the game? No. So one of the things I'm happy about saying in this job, I spend more time focusing on things that have nothing to do with the game of football. And because those things are, are always dealing with those items, those concentric circles, I know that even though I'm embracing all those things now, those are the important things.